in San Bernardino counties. Yes, part of the Blue Ridge fire has extended to Brea. And that's where CBS 2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely is right now. She continues our team coverage. Michelle. That's right. I'm actually on the other side of the ridge where Hermela was standing. This is Carbon Canyon Road, and behind me there, you can see a roadblock. No one is being allowed through. You know, there are several communities throughout Orange County tonight, <clears throat> excuse me, that are worried about this Blue Ridge fire. I, as we said, am in Brea. This is northern Orange County, but there's a whole nother group of people in South Orange County who are worried. That's Irvine Lake Forest, where the Silverado fire is burning. Clothes, some pillows. Um, that truck in the back of that is pretty much the mementos, the photos, the. The pfeffer corns are ready to leave if the Blue Ridge fire comes over the hill and into Carbon Canyon at the Orange County line. We've just been watching the ridge because we know it's literally a hop, skip, and a jumping away. So as soon as we get the noises coming through saying get out, get out, then we're out. We're already packed up, ready to go. Meanwhile, thousands of people will be out of their homes for a second night as the Silverado fire burns out of control in Irvine and Lake Forest. Manoj Pagaria lives on the edge of the canyon in Foothill Ranch. It's kind of like I would rather say a little bit intense because our house is right uh, on the canyon. Actually, there is only one thing that is separating is the iron route fence. There's only 5% containment of the Silverado fire, but no structures have burned. Erratic winds continue to hamper the firefighting effort. This afternoon, a hand crew battled flames along the 241 toll road where fire jumped the highway in Irvine. People are worried. It's stressful, you know, not knowing what to do. Uh, evacuate do we know like do we leave where do we go where are we staying what do we grab how much do we grab so you know there's a lot going on and you also got to worry about your neighbors and your neighborhood and everyone else you know it's one big community Southern California Edison is investigating whether electrical equipment may be to blame for that Silverado fire we're live in Orange County tonight I'm Michelle Geely back to you